another edition of Focus with Tim Thomas. We're glad you joined us for this very special edition of our program. We want to encourage you to call someone, let them know that our program is on. We're coming to you from the iSurf uh, studio here in Madisonville, and we have some very special guests that are going to be joining us. Uh, they're going to be uh, talking about the uh, activities that are taking place at the Madisonville Community College and a little bit about themselves. It is the Madisonville Community College Multicultural Student Association and we're glad to have them on our program today. Joining me as my co-host as I would say uh, is Miss Brittany Stevenson who is the communication instructor and the Multicultural uh, Association uh, advisor for this group and we're glad to have you Brittany. Thank you for having us. Glad to have you, and we're going to turn this part of the program over to you, Ms. Britt. Okay, I just want to tell you all a little bit about the Multicultural Student Association. You'll probably hear us call it MSA for short. That's what we're used to saying because it can be a mouthful. But this organization is student-led. Uh, we try to focus on various events on campus that are based around different cultures. Uh, this is a resource for students to explore different things, uh, educational and social events, and they have a time just to um, build relationships with one another. So the students that we have here today are going to talk to you all about some of the challenges that they face while at MCC, along with some of the great benefits of attending the community college. Good. Okay. So here we have Azra Wadi, she is the president of MSA, and then we also have Jacob Hamilton, he's the vice president. So they're gonna get us started. Okay, first question, what were the benefits of starting at MCC since both of you are planning on transferring? Um, yes, the benefits of starting at MCC would be the cost. And since if you're not ready to, you know, go right off to university, it's good to, you know, good, get the feel of how a university is gonna be like, like doing the work and everything like that. Like Jacob said, the cost was um, something that was a benefit for me going to MCC because I just, right now, I couldn't have been able to afford a four-year college. Um, and also being closer to home and being able to work so I can manage my time to study and work and go to school at the same time. So that was very beneficial. Okay. Uh, Madisonville Community College offers various resources on campus. What are some of the resources that you all take advantage of? Um, one of them that I take advantage of is TRIO. I do go once a week to study at TRIO, and they also have computer labs that you can use throughout the day. Another resource would be the library. You can always find information. There's computers in there as well if you can't make it to another um, computer lab. And then another uh, resource that I use would be the disability office, and they have helped me through this past two semesters, really through college, to study and get to know my test a lot better. Um, like Azra said, I am a member of TRIO and also... I am in the work study program and I am the assistant of the Office of Diversity Programs. So being able to work at the school and able to do my work does manage out my work and everything like that. It does help me a lot and whenever they don't have me do anything, they give me the opportunity to go work on my schoolwork if any time I need. So you work on campus uh, during the day, but if you don't have any work in the office, then you are given the opportunity to do some of your homework and yes, study if necessary? Mm -hmm. That's all we have for that part. Okay. Well, it's just good to have you all to come and share. And when we talk about uh, what's taking place at MCC, uh, everyone seems to be a collegiate body of being able to, to work together. Yes. What would you all like to see as far as your future? What are some of your plans for your future? Because I know that you two were the recipients uh, of the MLK mm -hmm. uh, scholarship. So what is uh, some of your plans for the future? Well, uh, I wanted to transfer off to WKU sometime next year and follow up on my psychology major. And sometime, hopefully, I know it's going to be a long run in schools, but hopefully maybe I wanted to be a family therapist, child psychologist. Great. And I'm hoping to further my education at WKU as well. Um, in meteorology, that'll be my major, and that is a four-year program at WKU. Right. Uh, when you talk about... Um, the, the college itself and your plans plans for the future uh, from that from that on it's important for uh, students of color uh, to be able to apply themselves and to uh, to further their education because we're living in that time now that we must have an education mm -hmm. so tell us about the importance of that 
Well, as a minority, it is important for us to stay in school. If you look at some of the levels of minorities that graduate and the graduation rates, it's good to motivate others, mm -hmm. just as a minority, to stay and that it is going to be worth it in the future. Uh, yes, like as... As, as a minority, I like to self-motivate myself, and not a lot of minorities have the motivation that they should have. So I would recommend, you know, find that motivation to do better for themselves. Or find someone else to bounce that motivation off of, somebody that you can be beneficial to you to tell you how you can stick with it and step up and still stay in college, even when you're going through life struggles. Right, because it's important. It is very important uh, that uh, one gets their education and that they uh, uh, proceed with their life uh, to do something meaningful. At Massville Community College is giving you that opportunity. Yes, mm -hmm. they are. Yes, sir. Right, right. We're glad that you're on and glad you've shared with us. And I know we have others we're going to bring on. And we wish you the best in the future. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Pastor Thomas, for having me. Okay, we have a couple of members of MSA that are joining us now. This is Shalika Bowman and then Matt Gibbons. And they just are going to answer a couple of questions as well. What are some of the challenges that you faced while in college? Um, it's really not like high school, so going from that high school environment to college is a big step. And not using the resource surrounded by me, as they said before, like the learning space and tree on the library, and just not um, using those reaching hands that was there for me to use and just trying to do it all by myself and take it all in is, that's really stressful and really challenging, but it gets easier in time goes, so. Uh, I would say being independent making sure that I stay on top of my work. Like Shalika said, it's not a high school environment anymore. Knowing that you got the choice to attend class or not, it makes a big impact on how you do in that semester. What about managing your time? Has that been a challenge for either of you? Yes, yeah, especially with the online classes, like forgetting to actually get on the computer and log in, because that's all you really have to do. And then doing the work and like pushing yourself because you have to have that self-discipline to do online classes. There's nobody, you don't have no teacher there, so it's you, yourself, and I doing it. And you have to manage your time and find a schedule to do that stuff. Mm, you gotta have the, uh, you gotta be more responsible to make sure that you stay on top of it. You got 15 minutes sometimes in between classes, sometimes more. And uh, knowing that you go to school with a whole lot of your friends, you'd rather sit there and talk to them yeah. instead of <laughs> do your work, and it's hard. That's why I come and get y'all sometimes, try to watch you and make sure you're going to class. <laughs> what have you learned from your experience? How to be independent. Um, how to be on my own and learning. It's a really learning experience. And to use those resources around me now that I know that I have professors that I can email and they'll be right there. Or I have all this... Um, the learning space once again and all that stuff that I can go to that's free and you know I can spend all my time there instead of being down there with my friends and not doing my work and I can just use the the campus for the needs. Uh, the best thing for me was knowing that I wasn't alone you know other students are going through the same things as I am and uh, being black being a minority it takes a bigger impact on you sometimes. And that's something that we do want to share. It is important to understand that you aren't alone whenever you're on campus. You have a lot of support, whether it's from the various organizations that are on campus. It could be instructors such as myself, other uh, faculty and staff. So we are here to support you, and we enjoy having the students on campus. All right. Uh, I guess I'll ask this question uh, as I ask the other two ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what are your plans for the future? Where where would you like to continue your education? Um, I plan on going to Mary State to further my special education um, degree. Uh, that's really all. I want to go back and get my business degree, of course, mm -hmm. to open my own business. I always wanted to do that since I was little, and I guess I want to do that in Mary State as well. Mm -hmm. But I plan on transferring next year or so. so. Um, I plan on transferring in about two years to the University of Louisville for um, criminal law. I want to be a detective somewhere along the lines. <laughs> that's, good. that's great. So mm -hmm. it's about, as, as we were talking with the other uh, students, you know, funding your education is important. Right. And if, if we have students that are uh, out there now, high school students that's watching this program, what advice would you give them? To stay focused. I mean, when I graduated and I, and I left those doors that night, 
it just like reality just hit me in my face and I was like goodness I'm an adult now <laughs> like I'm finna be in college and me thinking like my mom was behind me and she really is she's my motivation she she keeps me going she's the one that pushes me in college you gotta have that you gotta have that one person that helps and guides you to stay focused because it's hard it's a it's a challenge you're gonna have challenges every day in life but that's just part of life but you can do it you gotta stick it out it's it's hard work but hard work pays off in the end so uh, yeah like she said it's stressful it's stressful for real just making sure that you go to class, staying on top of your stuff, that is the determination. Yeah. Right, is the key. Thank you. Okay, we have Matt with us again, and we also have Kobe Combs. He's another member of MSA. Uh, for you all, what is your weekly schedule like? I know a lot of schedules can be different for students. Uh, my weekly schedule is stressful. I go to school Monday through Thursday, and then. Sometimes I'll work Monday through Thursday, the other days I just work three days out of the week. So I work the night shift at the hospital, so my schedule is balancing time to do my homework and time to sleep. How long are, your, how long are you working? I work 12-hour shifts from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Oh, wow. I go to school on Mondays and Wednesdays. I'm a full-time student, and then I also have a full-time job at Arby's Monday through Thursday. Okay. So do you all enjoy the flexibility that you have with your schedule? I enjoy it. Does it seem to make it easier for you to attend school? It makes it a whole lot easier. As a minority, what has your experience been like on campus? As a minority, my experience has been good. The teachers, they treat you just like as they would anybody else. They want you to do your work. They want you to come to class. They want you to do good and succeed in life. Okay. Coming straight out of high school, it's a, it really is a different environment. and. Uh, a whole lot of people think that being a minority, going into college, you're going to feel different, you're going to stick out, but you won't. I went straight to MCC and I fit right in, especially with MSA. So you're basically saying that you don't feel any different from anyone else. Everyone treats you the same. It's been a great experience for both of you. Okay, that's good. Great. And I guess I asked you, my friend, the same question. What are some of your future uh, endeavors? My future endeavors, I plan on getting my RN degree here. Right. And then I plan on working about to test for two years. I plan on transferring to either Murray or UK to be a CRNA. Wow, that's great. That's great. Thank you. So, what do you all enjoy most about your experience at Madisonville Community College? Being able to make our own schedule, um, me being able to have early classes really does help me enjoy the experience because I can manage my work that I really do enjoy, but I can also go to classes in the morning. Um, and also making new friends um, through MSA, I've made a lot of new friends and networking. Um, getting to meet Mr. Tim Thomas over here, that was also a great opportunity at the college, so I really do enjoy the experience here at MCC. Now, what are your schedules like? We did ask a couple of the other students. I work, I go to school Monday and Wednesday, but I work after school Monday through Friday. I work at a daycare. Um, it helps me because I want to be a teacher, so me teaching those kids, it's like I work all the time, but it's, I, I love it. I love the job, and I like going to school. Um, for me, my schedule, I only have one class actually on campus. Um, it is over in the morning, and then also after that I just go to work. But I do work at a hotel. Um, I work four days a week, and then that helps me manage my time going to school in the morning. Now with you, you're taking classes at Western as well, is that correct? So you're duly enrolled. Yes, I am duly enrolled. I do take four classes online, some through Western and some also through Owensboro. Um, I do enjoy online classes just for me because it helps me be able to do work outside of the college, not during a timely period. I know that both of you have really busy schedules and I wanted to know what is the campus life like? Do you all have an opportunity to get involved with that? Yes. Uh, we have a fine arts center called the Gleam of Mar. It's where they host concerts and plays, and students get discounts. Um, high school put on plays. We do community plays. I participated in the play, Hairspray, my senior year of high school. It's, it's so, it was really fun, and it's just something that we can do on weekends or sometimes it's during the week, and it's a really good experience. Um, for campus life, I enjoy pretty much like the MSA Heritage Month events that we do host and a lot of the MCC sponsored events on campus. Um, there's also Baptist Campus Ministries that puts together food on Wednesdays and they try to get together and talk to you and motivate you if you're into that. Um, but that really is my campus life that I do enjoy. So are there any other student organizations that you all participate in or are you mainly working with MSA? 
I'm also a part of TRIO, which I talked about before, and I do try to stay involved with that because they do help me through my studies. Okay, you all have shared some of your experiences at MCC, your schedule, and your reasons for attending classes here, but I want to know what is something that you would tell someone if they're planning on attending college? What advice do you have for them? Uh, I would tell them to be prepared at any time because college is totally different. You have to be responsible of your own self a majority of the time. Coming to college, it's, uh, it's different. Like, you have to, you're by yourself. You have to do your work by yourself, turning it on time. And if you don't, you, there's no makeup grades. You can't ask a teacher to extend the date sometimes. Because sometimes the professors won't do it. Other times you have the professors that will. And also, uh, what about having a mentor or having someone that you can go to? Do you all feel like you should do that? Or do you actually have someone that you can talk to on campus if you need some support? I have made close re relationships with some of the professors and it, everybody is very comfortable or what's helpful, the word? Yeah, helpful in a way. They are very open to whenever you need help at any time and the environment is just it's friendly. Your advisor will be your best friend. You can go you can go to your advisor at, at any time and ask them for help. And then you can also go to the learning space and ask them for help if you have problems in the, in the class. I know you work for Mr. James Foles in the Cultural Diversity Program, mm -hmm. and I know he's a mentor as well and very supportive. And you all know that you also have us as advisors in MSA, Kim Morrow, myself, and James Foles, so we're always here to help you. Is there anything else that you all would like to add or say? Brittany, this has been exciting, uh, talking with these students and, and learning of their future endeavors and the importance of education, I think, brings to light uh, mm -hmm. for, as I said earlier, high school students, middle-age students, uh, middle school students, whoever, uh, the importance of finishing their education. Yes, it's very important. Right. When we talk about uh, education, what, what brought you into this field? What brought you to the Massville Community College? It was actually really strange. I worked at Old National Bank. Um, I graduated from Western and then I ended up coming home I had my daughter and I never had thought about entering into higher education and I was talking to one of my um, another student that I had graduated with from college and he mentioned that he was in higher education and I was like well that's a field that I may look into and so I ended up doing that applied and got the job I was working in the business office mm -hmm. at first and then I graduated in 2013 through Murray with my master's degree and I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do and then things just kind of fell into place. A position came open, I decided to apply and now I'm teaching. I never thought that I would teach <laughs> but I absolutely enjoy it. I feel like I finally found my purpose mm -hmm. and I'm doing something that I love. Well yes, it's fulfilling when you're able to uh, reach students, yes. you know, and, and to help guide them mm -hmm. uh, uh, through their educational career. Yes, I like being there to support students and to let them know that they do have somebody that's going to be on their side, someone that is willing to listen, because a lot of students are afraid that they won't have anyone, that there's no one there to support them, but I'm one of those that wants them to know that there's always someone, even if I don't have them in class. A lot of these students I have had in class, but if I don't have you in class, you can still come up to me if you need someone to talk to. It's always good to have that type of support. Right, and you know, I think though from a spiritual standpoint, uh, God places people uh, in areas at different times in our lives, and this is uh, your purpose. Yes. And uh, you're fulfilling the purpose, uh, probably that God has already ordained. Yes, and that's that's exactly how I feel when it happened because when I had applied for the position, they weren't going to hire anyone for mm -hmm. it uh, because they had enough faculty. And then some things happened. I was actually in the payroll office. I had been there for two months. I had just recently been moved. And then I was given this position as the communications instructor, and that's when I realized God just needed some time. It wasn't my time when I applied. He just needed to move some things around for me to be put into this position. And like I said, from once I actually feel like I have, I know what my purpose is. Mm -hmm. And so, and there is, I think, uh, uh, it is so important for 
uh, students to choose education, mm -hmm. you know, uh, because it, it is a fulfilling yes. career. It is. It, and if you enjoy helping people, mm -hmm. uh, motivating students, this is the perfect uh, career field for you, whether it's high school, higher education, uh, because whether you believe it or not or realize it, there are a lot of people that are watching you and that look mm -hmm. up to you. So when you have the opportunity to help others or to motivate or others and mentor them, mm -hmm. you should always take advantage of it. Absolutely. And finally, um, the minority mm -hmm. is beginning to be the majority yes. as, as the years go by. So we're seeing changes in, in, uh, across the spectrum now. Mm -hmm. So it's important for students and even adults to know that uh, to fulfill your education uh, is the key. Yes. It, it is. It's very important. It, it's good to be in those fields that most people think minorities probably wouldn't hold, you know, doctors, lawyers, teachers, because little kids look up to you and when they see someone that looks like them, you know, that's more motivation for them to venture into those fields. Right, right. I know you wanted to share some closing thoughts about uh, how you ought to be reached though. Yes, if you're interested in attending classes at Madisonville Community College, you could visit our website at www.madisonville.kctcs.edu. And if you would like to follow the Multicultural Student Association, they do have a Twitter page, and that's at MSA underscore MCC, or you can follow them on Facebook, which is the Multicultural Student Organ Association. So you can find out the events that they're hosting. We do some community uh, volunteer work or community service as well. So check those sites out, come and visit us. If you have any questions about admission, like I said, you can visit the website and find out more information. Great, thank you for You're being welcome. here. Thank we you appreciate you. Us. And, and we're glad that you uh, were here and sharing with us. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, we want you to come back. We will. We would love to. It would be great. Great. You can come back and co-host with me. That okay. Works. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Don't take over the show. Okay. I'll try not to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have been talking to the students at the Maslinville Community College, College Multicultural Student Association, and we're really appreciative of Brittany Stevenson for uh, bringing the students in and sharing with us. Very proud of them. We, we all are. We all are. We hope you will tune in to another edition of our program. Again, I'm Tim Thomas, along with my co-host, Brittany Stevenson. Uh, we hope you to see you next time. By all means, keep sharing the dream.